Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing the Air Launch to Orbit Weekly Challenge. So this is the challenge that I found on the Kerbal Space Program uh, Twitter page. And so I noticed a lot of people were making their own unique designs and, and having fun there. So I wanted to contribute here and, and you know, make my own little craft. And so um, there are some real crafts you can make in real life. Um, I think the Virgin Galactic, I think they have one. So it's, I guess this is what it's based on really. But anyway, I wanted to do a kind of cartoon theme design, but not just that, I wanted to make it really small and see what we can do with a very small kind of design. I don't think I've created anything kind of this small that's meant to do what it's meant to do here, which is get into orbit. And so, as you can see, we've, we're using the smallest parts there are, the smallest engine, smallest air intake, and um, slapping on those wheels and ready to give it a test. Now, you might notice right off the bat, there's something wrong. It's, uh, we're facing the wrong direction. <laughs> so I had to kind of uh, turn around. But anyway, thankfully that's a quick fix. And, uh, well, that's one of the things I've noticed in, in the VAB, sometimes I get a little bit confused as to like which direction is the front and which way is the back. But anyway, we, that's a very quick lift off, as you can tell, although, you know, it's kind of expected, as you can see, it's a small thing, small craft, so it should kind of lift off. And, uh, yeah, it's getting very, very shaky. As you can tell, um, it, when you turn off the SAS controls, uh, the shakiness kind of disappears, but then you kind of have to manually control everything. So, uh, yeah, a bit shaky, a bit of a Kerbal kind of design. But you see the Kerbal's eyes are like kind of looking around. It's <laughs> clearly lost. Okay, now now the Kerbal's smiling. Okay, maybe not, but <laughs> it's just funny looking to see. Very, very derpy. This is exactly what I intended, totally. Um, of course, this doesn't look like it's uh, gonna get anywhere. Um, and well, anyway, at this point, I've kind of turned off SAS, as you can see, and it's going straight. But you know, these engines are not made for high altitudes, and they're not really that powerful up there. So, um, unfortunately, you know, things are just not going well. I can't get any lift at this point and there's just very little thrust so um yeah i think that we're gonna be uh decoupling the i guess the rocket stage soon just to see if that even works and if we can control it or not but yeah look at the view it's a nice view yeah things yeah as you can see we're kind of losing a little bit of control decoupling yeah i love how the curb will just talks once you decouple the stage that's awesome and as you can see, we don't really have any control. I mean, barely anything. Um, it's kind of pointing in the right direction, but now it's it's not. And uh, it's it's a failure. This this stage is a complete failure. But at the very least, this has told us something. We need to have some type of stability control for this stage. And uh, here is the final version of the design. Unfortunately, it's not as small as before i've had to use some more powerful engines um but you know it's all for the fun and games and yeah lift off is a little bit finicky actually so i i will share this craft in the description so i have a link there um i also intend to make a video on how to share crafts because i wasn't even aware you could share crafts until uh what was it a couple of days ago so <laughs> it's uh, so there's a bit of a learning curve and that's why I'm not doing a kind of how-to video um, anymore for a Kurt KSB until I really learn the game. So anyway, here you go. Things are a little bit wobbly, um, but when you turn off that control there, it kind of straightens out. So yeah, we, we are going quite fast as you can see. 1,100 meters, meters per second. Yep, looking good. And this is a little bit strange, this part. Uh, with the air effects, I guess the game there is still broken, but we're gonna jettison those wings and engines there Yeah, that was perfect um, In a previous run, which I didn't show I jettisoned the engines whilst they were still doing that afterburning effect and they actually kind of crashed into the rocket stage So uh, yeah, kind of you have to wait and be patient. So 
Anyway, here we go. I was just testing the stability. I did add one of the stability things inside the uh, fuel tank there. And so it's like perfect control. But as you can see, we're on a crash course here. And it's a matter of whether we have enough fuel to get into orbit. And so uh, I'm a little bit concerned whether that's going to work or not because the fuel does look a little bit low. But regardless, we're going to do a time warp to our destination where we're then going to start our final burn. And so here we go. And we're going to start burning anytime. And I love how the Kerbal's head just kind of sways back when you accelerate forward. That's just, yeah, that's really well done. <laughs> yeah, the Kerbal's resting the head on the fuel tank itself. And uh, at this point, I'm getting very concerned because, you can, as you can see, I mean, it doesn't look like we have enough fuel to get in orbit. Um, although Kerb was happy, but yeah, I mean, look, that's barely any fuel remaining. So, how are we going to get in orbit? Well, uh, I don't know. Look, we got, <laughs> we got in orbit. I didn't do any time skip, by the way. Somehow, I don't know what, something appears, maybe two parts appears to have broken off. And I don't know what parts, maybe... Yeah, I, I don't know what broke off, but something broke off. We didn't have enough fuel, but whatever broke off boosted us or something into an orbit instantly. So I recommend you play that back and tell me like, what, what went wrong there? I still don't know. I mean, anyway, this is <laughs> this is very strange, but hey, this this is like this still should count, right? Uh, yeah, see, Kerbal, it should count. Um, <laughs> I love how they move their fingers there. That's funny. And so, well, now that we're in orbit, I guess it's time to go back down and land on Kerbin. You might be asking how we're going to do that. Well, uh, the monopropellant on the, the Kerbal's jetpack here. Um, as you can see, we I just decided to start burning some fuel here. And it, it actually works um, pretty well. I was testing the time warp function to see if you can kind of use a jetpack and time walk, but it, it doesn't allow you to do that. If you could, that would be good, but I guess you don't really have too much monopropellant to burn anyway, so it doesn't matter. And well, as you can see, the Kerbal here is uh, freaking out a little bit because of the imminent death or whatever potentially awaits. Um, I was just double checking, there's no parachutes on this ker Kerbal, so uh, it looks like death is probably going to happen, but well, we'll see. We'll see what I can do. Maybe there's uh, something I can do as far as, I don't know, continually press space bar and hope that we kind of miraculously jump somehow and, and avoid death. Um, like, I do know Kerbals die from, like, crashing into things, right, when they're on a jet. So I, I assume this should apply as well. Um, although I did notice that Kerbals seem to be invulnerable somewhat, but we'll tell, we'll know now. And <laughs> they survive. Very anticlimactic. Not sure if that's uh, meant to be like that. Uh, are they meant to just perish or not? Or they don't get any fall damage? Eh, probably going to have to test this further, but regardless, Kerbals are invincible at the moment <laughs> when it comes to falling from orbit onto the land so yeah that's that's just crazy to say and so <laughs> naming this kerbals never die and i just love the animation here it's uh, pretty well done but i definitely have to fix the flag it's like the worst looking flag <laughs> who designed this thing yeah anyway thank you for watching um that was it oh, that's my submission for the weekly challenge i hope it counts I don't know if there was a bit of a kraken that occurred there or what, but hey, it worked out in the end. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.